check this video out of her explaining how to game the system at Southwest. Not game the system, because they've made the system. They've embraced this. This is what they want. Go ahead. Have you heard about the Southwest Airlines customer size policy and how plus size travelers who need more room can get a second seat for free or reimburse if they book it in advance? I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can book your second seat for comfort on Southwest Airlines website using their customer size policy. Now let's get right into this video customer and let me show you the step-by-step -step process to booking that second seat ahead of time. Click book a flight, then put in where you're leaving from and where you're headed to, and the dates, of course. The number of passengers will be two, since you're getting an extra seat for comfort. The size of then, from people. these list of options, choose the flights that you would like. Then, confirm that everything looks good and hit continue. Then, you're going to enter your personal details, your name, date of birth, gender, etc. Enter your email and if you need special assistance. For your second seat, enter your first name, but in the middle name category, put your middle name followed by the letters XS or XS if you don't have a middle name. XS stands for extra seat. Now, review and purchase. And that's how you do it. Certainly not extra small. So here's what we got to do. I know we, we like to say go woke, go broke, whatever. I, I don't think we should boycott these people. I don't think we should boycott Southwest. I think we should actually do quite the opposite. I think we should all fly Southwest. We should all start flying Southwest everywhere we go. And to protest this insanity, here's what we do. We all book an extra seat. Prove that I'm not a, cu a, a customer of size. Prove it. How do you know? I feel uncomfortable just having one seat. I need one next to me. Everyone start doing it. They will lose so much money over this shit. So much money doing this. Well, and the thing is, they can't go back on it nope. because... Do you know how much backlash they would they're get? They're going to have to. If yeah. we all start doing it, they're going to have to. Because here's what the, here's what the alternative is. They can either go back on it and start charging these people for seconds or for another seat, or and they're not going to do this. This is the only other thing they can do, other than go back on it once we all start doing this. You know how like amusement parks have the height <gasps> things, the height sticks. <gasps> In front of the rides, you must be this tall to ride. They're going to start. Then they're going to get sued. This will lead to lawsuits. The only alternative to, to walking it back quietly. They won't They won't be loud about it. They'll quietly walk it back. Uh, they Because they know that the people that get upset about it are going to get worked up. And half of them will give themselves heart attacks. The only alternative to walking it back is right next to where you board your flight. They've got a sign that says you must be this wide to get a second seat for free. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, be sure to click the link in the description to get the full episode on Rumble. If you prefer to listen along, you can actually get us on Spotify, Spreaker, and iHeartRadio. You can also go to www.outlawstreamers.com to learn more about not just my show, but tons of other great shows and all the exciting projects they have coming up. Follow my socials at Caleb Isn't Funny on Twitter and Instagram, at Caleb Salvatore Comedy on the Chinese spy app that is TikTok, and be sure to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks, and we'll see you every Saturday for brand new episodes of That's Based. Peace.